This tutorial will address building a vector using two methods, first using a for loop and second using vector scalar multiplication. Define the initial time, time increment, and final time. Find the number of data points needed. Take the difference between the final and initial times, and then divide by the time increment, plus 1. Define the vector tval as the initial time. This for loop proceeds from 1 to n, with an increment of 1. For the first iteration, k equals 1. Define the time at the k -th iteration, t of 1 equals dval. Compute the function, f of 1, at time, t of 1. Update the time by adding the time increment to tval. Return to the beginning of the loop. For the next iteration, k equals 2. Define the time at the k -th iteration, t of 2 equals dval. Compute the function, f of 2, at time, t of 2. Update the time by adding the time increment to tval. Return to the beginning of the loop. This continues until k equals n, or k equals 101. These are the vectors t and f after the loop is finished. Plot time versus the function. Show next, building a vector using vector scalar multiplication. Show next, building a vector using vector scalar multiplication. Define the initial time, time increment, and final time. Define the time vector. Compute the function using the vector t and dot notation. Plot time versus the function.